that God is all good and God only creates good things. So how is it that putting good things together, if that's all that God creates, could wind up with sin and evil? Let me just quickly give you uh, a more trivial example, but one that I find helpful in understanding this, and then a more serious illustration from my life. Uh, The example that I find helpful is going to a buffet. Anyone like going to a buffet? I really like going to a buffet, but I am not a good buffet eater because I go to the buffet and everything individually looks great. And I'm not able to process the fact that some of these things don't go well together. And so I put all of them on my plate and it doesn't go well then or for the rest of the night. (laughs) That's how I think about this. God only creates good things, right? He creates the power for me to move my arm. He creates the power for me to have free will. They're both good things. I can use my arm to help someone up. But if I put those two things together in the wrong way, then it's not a good thing. And the more serious illustration in my life that makes me reflect deeper on this is of someone who as a child, I can remember as a teenager, I wasn't very kind to him and he wasn't very kind to me. And I used those powers that God gave me to push him down rather than to help him up. And I remember taking every opportunity I could to put this guy down. And then I learned a number of years ago that he had taken his life. And at one point the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. And I had read that verse hundreds of times and it never really hit me until then. And I had to start asking questions like, would he have taken his life had I been kind to him had I used those very same powers of the movement of my arm and of the free will not to push him down but to help him up and I didn't know the answer to those questions sometimes I think we're too quick to look up and blame God for the evil in the world and we're too slow to look to ourselves and turn that question around and ask what is our part in that. G.K. Chesterton was once asked to write into a newspaper with an answer to the question, what's wrong with the world? And he wrote a very short letter. He wrote, dear sirs, I am sincerely yours, G.K. Chesterton. And so sometimes I think we're too quick to look up and blame God. Ironically, the same God who when he was hanging down a cross, looked at the ones who were producing evil in his life and the instinctive words of his heart were, Father, forgive them.